Hey tubers, so I'm just gonna run a little bit of a test. We got 4.02 volts on that cell and as perfectly normal, we've got the screen that just turned off on us. We're about to throw a load on it. Uh, we're gonna turn the microwave on and the toaster on at the same time. There it goes. That will be the micro oh, that'll be the toaster. And there we go, the microwave. And you can hear the, the, the fans turned on straight away in the inverter. Let's have a look at the voltage sag on one cell. Set. That's so, uh, 0 .4, 0 0.04 of a, a volt voltage sag. It's good to see this meter's working under 4 volts, but I wonder how low, low under 4 volts it's going to work. I'll have to come back out in the morning. That's interesting, let's have a look back here again. We're still pulling 2600 watts. Uh, how many amps? Is that 50 amps from the batteries? And that one cell's only dipped ever so slightly. These batteries continue to impress. There we go, there's the, the loads returning back to semi-normal, I guess. The toaster must be still popped down. Amps have dropped to 15 amps there. Oh, there we go. It must be dropping off. There we go. Amps have dropped back to 7 amps. And the voltage come back up to 4.1, 4.2. These little batteries are incredible. They just did what, one and a half minutes at a two and a half thousand watt load? And they shrugged it off. That's incredible. And the, the loads come back on again. I guess it, guess it also, I wonder how accurate these little meters are. It's gone back to 399, so it's jumping around a bit. Uh, I have to wait until the sparky gets here to actually do a voltage on it. Whatever. Now we're still running on a 2000 watt load, Some, so something else got turned on. 38 watts. Oh, 38 amps. Still 3.99 uh, 3 volts. That's very impressive stuff. So we've been going for about two and a half minutes now and yeah. And back to seven amps again. Takes a little bit of time for it to react. Okay, so we're out here the next morning and it's not working, which is a pity. I was hoping it would work. But with all the YouTubers and all the private messages and Brad from One Up The Sleeve Customs, we've worked out that that little device can be modified to take an external power source. And a few other people said exactly the same thing on the YouTube channel. So everybody, thank you very much. And just for a quick heads up. So we used, what? 0 0.25 of a volt out of the battery last night. That's pretty cool. That's just that one battery there. I've just got the terminals hooked up to the multimeter. So it really doesn't use very much out of the batteries every night. I'll see if I can come around here actually and see if I can. Oh, it's a bit cool out here this morning. Um, there we go. I can't remember what it was at last night, but 113 amp, 131 amp hours. And it's taken, so, it takes so little out of these batteries. They're remarkable. Got to, got to, got to keep stop talking about it. Um, what are we doing? So we're not charging with that one, and we're taking out 500 watts. And a nice, charming motorcycle driving by. And we're charging at one amp, and it's 6:41 in the morning. So there we go. It's a pretty crappy update, but it's still an update. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.